So, you know, we, we spent a few classes on progressions by this time. And while we were learning a little bit of niceties on progressions, we learned how to express some of these sequences as a difference of two sequences, right? And we termed it as a telescope. We termed it as a telescope. Now, my intent is plain and simple. I want to communicate how we would effectively use telescope in problems related to summation on trigonometric functions, right? The first of that variety, uh, summation r equal to 1 to n, 1 by sine r theta, sine r plus 1 theta. Now, you know, surely as beginners, uh, you would perhaps not have the oversight to look beyond a few steps and come to how you could perhaps express uh, a term as difference of two consecutive terms of a sequence, but with a few problems and a uh, few bunch of problems under our kitty, we would, in a certain sense, familiarize ourselves with the basic tenets of expressing a term as a difference of two consecutive terms, etc. Right? Now this one, for example, 1 by sine r theta, sine r plus 1 theta. r is my running variable, theta is a fixed number. r runs from 1 to n. That means when r is 1, it's sine theta into sine 2 theta. When r is 2, it's 1 by sine 2 theta into sine 3 theta, and so on and so forth. We need this summation up to n terms. Now, <coughs> let me separately evaluate the general member of the sequence sine r theta, sine r plus 1 theta. A little, little bit of this comes out of a little bit of an exposure. Uh, I, I can't be a hardliner and give you ready-made remedies to telescopic problems, but must tell you that exposure will bring it to you, right? So. 1 by sine r theta, sine r plus 1 theta. I somehow want to be able to express this as a difference of two terms. Hmm? Now, the denominator all by itself gives us no leverage at all. I mean, uh, no good at all. But what I could do is, this 1, suppose, you know, I write this as sine of r plus 1 theta minus r theta, you know. Essentially, what is this? Sin r plus 1 theta minus r theta is sin theta. It's sin theta. Sit down. This is sin theta. So, I'm mul multiplying the numerator with sin theta. And I'm obliged, therefore, realize that this is sin theta, right? r theta, r theta will get cancelled. This is simply sin theta. I'm obliged, therefore, to bring about a balancing factor sin theta in the term so that this will get cancelled with this, leaving me with a 1 that is required in the numerator of this general term. Yes or no? Do you all understand this? Hmm? Now, this is like sin of a minus b. This is like sin of a minus b. And this is sin a, sin b. Isn't it? This is sin of a minus b divided by sin a, sin b. Check that out. Sin of a minus b divided by sin a, sin b. We'll, we'll do that, we'll do that. Please, let me just finish. You know, you can tolerate me for a problem before creating more. Do you understand this? This is sine of a minus b divided by sine a sine b kind of a term. Yes or no? Right? What is this equal to? This I can write as sine a cos b minus sine b cos a divided by sine a sine b divided by sine a sine b. So sine a sine b sine a sine b. Yes or no? Do you all understand this? Do you all relate to this? Hmm? This sine A will get cancelled here. This sine B will get cancelled here. What is this? Cot B minus cot A. Is it not? This is cot B minus cot A. Cot B minus cot A. Let's see if this helps. Sometimes a few trials will work. Right? 
it may not it may not fit into the groove right away a few trials may be recommended but this time let's see i i, I see light at the end of the tunnel if sin a minus b by sin a sin b is cot b minus cot a means sin of a minus b divided by sin a sin b is cot b cot r theta minus cot r plus 1 theta yes or no so this is like 1 by sin theta cot b which is cot r theta minus cot a which is cot r plus 1 theta yes or no and now you see when i say they are consecutive that means you know this is a younger brother elder brother relationship already see this is r this is r plus 1 this guy is one year older than this they are like consecutive members of a sequence they are like consecutive members of a sequence this is obtained by simply replacing r by r plus 1 yes or no so the moment you find an elder brother younger brother kind of an association then you know that you have triumphed you are triumphant you have won the telescope right now good for us so this then this summation is like 1 by sin theta cot r theta minus cot r plus 1 theta yes or no r equal to 1 to n right and 1 by sin theta is independent of the running variable r so it wriggles out of the summation sign it conveniently wriggles out of the summation sign how about it right just to create room let me wipe this off make sense to all of you now 1 by sin theta taking its way out this then becomes summation cot r theta minus cot r plus 1 theta do you realize a telescope in is in sight do you realize a telescope is in sight put r equal to 1 2 3 n right what does this then turn out to be this is 1 by sin theta into put r equal to 1 so this will be cot theta minus cot 2 theta put r equal to 2 cot 2 theta minus cot 3 theta yes or no right you are performing a summation on r so when when you put r equal to 1 cot theta minus cot 2 theta cot theta minus cot 2 theta right put r equal to 2 you will get cot 2 theta minus cot 3 theta put r equal to 3 cot 3 theta minus cot 4 theta and keep going this way till you reach r equal to n are you all familiar with the summation notation when r is n then this will become cot n theta minus cot n plus 1 theta so going this way cot n theta minus cot n plus 1 theta how about it this then augurs well for us because see there is a very convenient cancellation that occurs cot 2 theta with a cot 2 theta cot 3 theta with a cot 3 theta this cot n theta would have got cancelled with the previous term leaving you with two virgin terms cot theta minus cot n plus 1 theta yes or no good for us and let's perform the last rights on this then 1 by sin theta cot theta minus cot n plus 1 theta that's my summation that's my summation does it make sense to all of you right so then you know the the art and science of problem solving <coughs> involves also accumulating in your database uh, some methodologies and some templates some templates so now you have like a sin r theta sin r plus 1 theta you know that this kind of a manipulation is going to work and then eventually you know once you once you breed familiarity with basic manipulations these are basic manipulations and i am giving you a prime of facie introduction to these right but as you chug along you'll realize that you'll be able to obtain all of this by yourself right now you might be at a little loss to understand hey how on earth it seems like black magic to have you know all by yourself obtained a difference in the numerator and you know it might seem a lot of juggling but realize that once you get more and more familiar with problem solving 
this would happen very spontaneously to begin with i'm actually spoon feeding you but that's all right down the line you would be mature enough to obtain the differences all by yourself with a few trials here and there all right but so this was then our first instance of a telescope used in trigonometry how about it right now refer to another situation where again you know i'll be on a spoon feeding spree the the hint of course at the very onset i told you you know these belong these problems belong to the coterie of telescopic series where you you choose to find a way a mechanism which will enable you express it as a difference of two terms consecutive terms right one term obtained by other on replacing r by r plus 1 in certain cases replacing r by r plus 2 or r minus 1 that that's the blueprint all in all right so i'll spoon feed you through this as well you know the idea again spelt out loudly and clearly is that this is like a tan a tan b this is like a tan a tan b and i want to express this as a difference i want to be able to express this as a difference now again scroll through the database of results that you have in your system trigonometry where on earth have you encountered a tan a tan b tell me in in the result of tan a minus b you have encountered a tan a tan b kind of a situation yes or no right so then quickly write down that result and see if that can make sense for example you know tan a minus b is tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b yes or no so now this tan a tan b let me see how i can salvage pride out of this tan a tan b and create a difference out of this would you want to then believe that 1 plus tan a tan b is as good as tan a minus tan b a difference already in sight right a difference already in sight divided by tan of a minus b yes or no and therefore what i do is you know i can add one to each one of the terms to bring it to the form 1 plus tan a tan b right there are there are n terms of this kind right r equal to 1 r equal to 2 r equal to n there are n terms of this kind and in this summation i add a one to each one of the n terms so that i could reduce it to a template 1 plus tan a tan b so that there is a 1 plus tan a tan b as a template made available to me right there but then hey i can't be frivolous about adding one to each one of the terms essentially to this sum i have added n one added n times isn't it i have added n that means i have the responsibility and onus to subtract n so to subtract n right there is n that i have added in the summation outside the summation isn't it subrat so, do you understand what i have done here this is like 1 plus <coughs> tan x tan 2x then plus 1 plus tan 2x tan 3x then 1 plus tan 3x tan 4x 1 plus tan nx tan n plus 1 so essentially i have added one n times so i have added n to the summation and i therefore take moral responsibility of removing that n so as to keep the expression preserved in looks yes or no hmm now <coughs> so then 1 plus tan a tan b which is available as a ready reckoner tan a minus tan b by tan of a minus b right so this is like let's say this is my a and say this is my b so 1 plus tan a tan b this is summation r equal to 1 to n 1 plus tan a tan b is tan a minus tan b that is tan a r plus 1 into x minus tan b which is tan r x divided by tan of a minus b <coughs> do you realize this is the result that i've used 1 plus tan a tan b is tan a minus tan b tan a minus tan b divided by tan of a minus b and then of course outside the summation there is a minus n which i brought about to balance the look all's good right makes sense hmm good then <coughs> we are then geared up because 
what is this this is tan x this is tan x because rx rx will get cancelled this is tan x which is independent of the running variable r so tan x will be pushed out of the summation sign this tan x can wriggle out of the summation sign because it's independent of the running variable r so this is like 1 by tan x summation tan r plus 1 into x minus tan rx r equal to 1 to n yes or no good for us now younger brother elder brother kind of a relationship r replaced by r plus 1 therefore we have arrived at the point a telescope has is now available and then of course there is a minus n also which i cannot discount and then this is what 1 by tan x for r equal to 1 what is it tan 2x minus tan x for r equal to 2 what is it tan 3x minus tan 2x going this way for r equal to n tan n plus 1 into x minus tan nx how about it do you feel good about this hmm? <coughs> tan 2x would have got cancelled with the tan 2x tan 3x would have got cancelled somewhere there but minus tan x would have got cancelled with the previous term which is not available so this minus tan x is virgin right and of course there is a minus n there is a minus n so minus tan x cannot get cancelled with anything it stays put <coughs> so 1 by tan x there is a minus tan x right there and then <coughs> realize that this will not get cancelled this would have got cancelled with a term before this but this will not get cancelled tan n plus 1 into x see every term is getting cancelled by the next bracket so the, for this bracket there is no bracket after this so this will remain put right so this will remain so plus tan n plus 1 into x minus n and of course this will become minus 1 which can get clubbed with this that will become minus of n plus 1 so what is this this is tan n plus 1 into x divided by tan x minus this one getting clubbed with this minus of n plus 1 how about it does it make sense to all of you hmm? do you understand what transpired I got I got tempted by the looks of tan r plus 1 into x and tan rx because I knew that it featured in the result for tan of a minus b. Yes, it also featured in the result of tan of a plus b, but then the difference was not there. So I preferred tan of a minus b to source tan a tan b compared to tan of a plus b because tan a minus b gave me like a tan a minus tan b, the prospect of expressing it as a difference. Do you all register this properly and completely? Every bit of it. Hmm? So the next member of this scope is a summation of this sine theta sec 3 theta sine 3 theta sec 3 square theta sine 3 square theta sec 3 cube theta. We need to add up to n terms. We need to add up to n terms. Now, again, like I might have mentioned in the past and I reiterate, Mathematics, in addition to other things, is also about good observation. It's about good observation. When you look at an expression, look at it with love and affection. It'll oblige. Don't worry. Let's follow the sequence. Don't bother about trivia. All right. <coughs> Now, the important thing is, the important thing here is that, look at this. This is sine of an angle and this is sec of 3 times that angle, right? This is sine of an angle and sec of 3 times this angle, right? This is sine of an angle and sec of 3 times this angle. Do you see that? There is, there is a consistency that you see in the looks across various terms, right? That means every term belongs to a common family. 
belongs to a common family let's resolve issues with one member of the family we would have unleashed the the trait of that family in the sense that let me look at in general sign of a sec 3a that's a form of each of the terms would you not want to believe this sign of a into sec of 3a sign of a into sec of 3a sign of a into sec of 3 times a they belong to this common framework all the terms belong to this common framework right let's see if i can salvage pride out of a look of this kind and i must tell you this kind of an expression would be encountered again and again time and again in trigonometry and i want you to then take cognizance of how to deal with this we are going to encounter this in a large number of problems in trigonometry in integration and across various other places we are going to encounter this so whatever i am going to do to this i want you to then remember that as a standard result i want you to subsequently remember that as a standard result for consumption in all examinations and otherwise right sin a sec 3a clear now see how to deal with this now this i could have written as sin a divided by cos 3a could i have done this hmm? i could have done this now see i do the following i multiply numerator with 2 cos a and therefore i multiply the denominator also with 2 cos a do you realize what i did i multiplied both numerator denominator with 2 cos a what's the numerator 2 sin a cos a what's that supposed to be sin 2a that's sin 2a so that's sin 2a divided by 2 cos 3a cos a yes or no hmm? now can i write 2a as 3a minus a can i write 2a as 3a minus a i could do that right so then this is sin 3a minus a the entire thing divided by cos 3a cos a what about it sorry okay but so far so good right hmm? now realize that i have 3a and a here i can expand this sin a minus b sin a cos b minus sin b cos a and divide by this fellow see what happens this is half of sin 3a cos a minus sin a cos 3a divided by cos 3a cos a cos 3a cos a so far so good this will get cancelled what is this tan 3a this will get cancelled what is this tan a right so this is half of tan 3a minus tan a half of tan 3a minus tan a right that means half of tan of the second angle minus tan of the first angle isn't it this is half of tan of the second angle this is the second angle see if this is like a and this is b sin a sec b is like tan b minus tan a tan b minus tan a is that not the formation are you feeling mentally agile enough to understand this right so this is tan of this angle minus this angle so the, again this is sin a sec 3a what would this be this would be half of tan of second angle 3 theta minus tan of first angle which is tan theta yes or no this is of the same formation this is a and this will be 3a this is a and this will be 3a and what is that going to be tan of the second angle 3a minus tan of the first angle which is a sorry 3 square theta minus 10 3 theta right 
and going this way up to n terms the last term would be see this is 3 to the power 1 3 square and so on so forth so the nth term would be tan 3 to the power n theta minus tan 3 to the power n minus 1 theta is that good for you hmm tan 3 theta first term tan 3 square theta second term tan 3 to the power n theta second term third n terms now so this is 3 to power 1 this is 3 to power 2 so nth term will be 3 to power n isn't it first term 3 to power 1 second term 3 to power 2 nth term would be 3 to power n right hmm? yeah i mean give me some opportunity some humble opportunity to do that myself right i'll feel good about it if you allow me to do it <laughs> although i'm proud of you that you identified that Nevertheless, let me at least look like a teacher for a while. <laughs> so this will get cancelled with this. This of course doesn't, will this get cancelled? This will also get cancelled. But this will not get cancelled. Minus tan theta will not get cancelled. And will this get cancelled? No, it would have got cancelled with the next bracket. But the next bracket is not there. So this will stay there and this will stay there. Yes or no? So the two terms that will stay put, this term and this term, they will not get cancelled. That's my summation. That's my summation. Got me, no? Is your mind getting acclimatized to the ways associated in telescope? essentially the idea to express as difference of two terms and then you find that term subsequently get cancelled in the summation right hmm? all's good so now i have a summation of this kind 1 by sine 45 sine 46 1 by sine 47 48 sine 48 49 sine up to 133 134 degrees Huh? Now, no. Ah, this would be forty-nine fifty. Forty-nine fifty. You're right. Absolutely. <coughs> right. What on earth would you recommend? What on earth would you recommend? sin theta and theta plus 1 that is what it is sin theta and sin theta plus 1 see the template is all the terms are like 1 by sin theta sin theta plus 1 isn't it that's the formation of all the terms here 1 by sin theta sin theta plus 1 is the formation of all terms therefore a common template assigned to every term this is my common template that I am trying to precipitate hmm. <coughs> now uh, See, suppose I write this as sin theta plus 1 minus theta. Again, you know, this is like I am multiplying the numerator with sin 1. I am multiplying the numerator with sin 1. Yes or no? Theta plus 1 minus theta is 1. Na? Right? So, this is sin 1. So, let me balance it because originally there was only a 1. Guys, what I have done here? Do you all register this? right hmm? now i expand sin a minus b sin a cos b minus sin b cos a right now this because we've done two other problems you know this doesn't look totally unfamiliar like the previous two might have this doesn't look totally unfamiliar right now you're beginning to understand you know some associated dynamics so do you, do you understand what i did here and now you would understand why i have done so so this is like 1 by sin 1 degree sin a minus b sin a cos b minus sin b cos a whole divided by sin theta into sin theta plus 1 there we go Hey, 
if I divide this by this, what do I get? Sin theta plus 1 will get cancelled with sin theta plus 1 and I have cos theta by sin theta which is cot theta, right? Dividing this by this minus this by this, right? So when I divide this by this, realize that sin theta plus 1 will get cancelled, cos theta by sin theta will be cot theta. So this is like a 1 by sin 1 degree cot theta minus, now I divide this by this, sin theta will get cancelled, I have cot theta plus 1, I have cot theta plus 1. This is what I have as my template for all these terms, right? Hmm? So then based on this, 1 by sin 1 degree will appear, feature in all of these terms and it will then come out of the bracket, right? 1 by sin 1 degrees, yes or no, right? So this is like 1 by sin 1 degree and then I have like a cot 45 minus cot 46. And then I have like a cot 47 minus cot 48 and then I have a cot 49 minus cot 50. Ah, it, see it's not obliging yet. This is a gritty customer. Cot 133 minus cot 134. So far so good. Yes or no? See now terms are not getting cancelled here. Terms are really not getting cancelled, right? And it doesn't strongly belong to the telescope formation. But does it mean that the problem can't be solved? No. Why can't it be? Can I remove the clutter from here? <coughs> Surely it can be solved. Now what I do is, see 45, 47, 49, 133, these are odd angles. And 46, 48, 50, 134, these are even angles. Let me see them, filter them out. Odd ones coming together, even coming together. Right? Let me do that in the first step because now I feel helpless here. Terms didn't get cancelled. Seems like, you know, I cheated myself. Hoping that it will turn out to be a telescope. Didn't happen. So, let me still figure out a way to handle this. Right? So, this is 1 by sine 1 degree. <coughs> and let me club terms together, cot 45, cot 47, cot 49, cot 131, cot 133, right? And the even ones minus cot 46, cot 48, <coughs> cot 50, cot 132, cot 134. So many cots here, I am cot. <laughs> ah, so what if? It's all caught. I'm still not bold. <coughs> now, is caught 47. See, do you realize caught theta is minus caught pi minus theta? That result, caught theta is minus caught pi minus theta, right? Now, this becomes our savior. So, cot 47 would be minus cot 180 minus 47, which is minus cot 33, minus cot 133. Yes or no? Huh? Ah, this guy managing his friend here, right? This guy cot 47 will get cancelled with cot 133, isn't it? And Cot 49 is minus cot 131, same result. Cot 49 would be minus cot 180 minus 49, which is minus cot 131. So this fellow will take care of this. And there is a pairwise cancellation that occurs here, leaving you with one unattended term cot 45 degrees, which is one anyways. Right? Now, let's look at this. Hey, cot 46, 
is minus cot 180 minus 46. 180 minus 46 is 134. Right? So cot 46 dispenses cot 134. Cot 48 will dispense from similar reasons, cot 132. And again, there is a very convenient cancellation, but at a much later stage when we had given up hope. Because the first looks of this was very discouraging. But down the line, you then had the courage to club them together based on some reason, some rational, and it looked like having fallen in place. Yes or no? Everything has got cancelled. Do you realize that? Only one term here, cot 45, which is 1. So this is 1 by sine 1 degree, cosec 1 degree, right? A little bit of a departure from ready telescope. Yes, we had to express that this as a difference, but the difference right away did not help. We had to do, we had to take subsequent measures of suitably clubbing them together and using the result that cot theta is cot pi minus of cot pi minus theta. Clear? Did you understand that? Sure. Right now? All of you did, right? So, another member belonging to a telescopic formation. How do I deal with 1 by sine 2x, 1 by sine 2 squared x, 1 by sine 2 cubed x, 1 by sine 2 to power n x? Yes, please. No, of course not. <laughs> these angles are in GP. Sign of these angles are not in GP, right? <laughs> How nice it would have been if the angles were in GP and their signs were also in GP. Mm, that would have been a new science. <laughs> right? Unfortunately, that's not the case. So then, what lies in store? What lies in store? <coughs> See again, let me tell you this 1 by sine twice of an angle is a commonplace occurrence in trigonometry. And what I do for this, like I did with uh, sine a sec 3a, that was a regulation result. I want you to remember that result. The way I express that as a difference of two tans, this result also that I obtain, you should rem remember that as a regular result because it features again and again in trigonometry. 1 by sine twice of an angle will, will be a regular feature in trigonometry. The way to deal with this is generally, generally, <coughs> I write this as 1 as 1 plus cos 2x minus cos 2x. 1 by sin 2x, I write as 1 plus cos 2x minus cos 2x. Remember this result henceforth, the one that I am going to derive, which for the time being I am going to use for this problem, but this result will be used in other problems as well. So, mark it in block, in a block. Now, cos 2x by sin 2x is cot 2x, right? If I divide cos 2x by sin 2x is cot 2x. And do you recall the result for 1 plus cos 2x? It's 2 cos squared x. 1 plus cos 2x is 2 cos squared x, yes or no? Hmm? Now I divide 2 cos squared x by sin 2x. minus cos 2x by sin 2x cot 2x. Now this sin 2x I can write as 2 sin x cos x. So this is like 2 cos squared x by 2 sin x cos x minus cot 2x. Right? Hmm? This 2 goes into oblivion. This goes away. Cos x by sin x is cot x. Right? Is cot x. So this is like cot x minus cot 2x. Yes or no? Hmm? Hmm? So if this was the result, 
then what would my s be? 1 by sin 2x I write as cot x minus cot 2x. Similarly, <coughs> 1 by sin 2 squared x is going to be what? Cot 2x minus cot 2 squared x. Right? Hmm? No? Similarly, going this way, <coughs> this last one, cot 2 to the power n minus 1 x minus cot 2 to the power n x, right? Do you all understand what I have done here? I can explain again, don't worry if you want me to. All of you? No, I didn't understand, no? Huh? Oh, okay. So, let us convention. You know the convention that I want to suggest to you? No, no. Convention of expression. So, in this part of the country, a uh, horizontal head, hor a horizontal nod would mean no. And rotation about this axis will mean yes. In South India, it is just the other way around. You know, this is also yes and this is also no. But in this part of the country, we polarize the two. This means yes, this means no. So, when you say this, what would be my interpretation? No, no. Although there is a subtle difference, you know, when, when you are meaning yes, but when you, and you know, some people when they have half understood, it is not like they move their heads at 45 degrees. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, partially understood. <laughs> okay. So, based on the axis of rotation of the neck, we will decide whether it is a yes or a no. Right. You understood this now? now? Okay. That is better. <laughs> Good. So, this will get cancelled with this, right? This would have got cancelled with the next term here. <coughs> this cannot get cancelled. Cot x. Now, this would have got cancelled with the next term, so which is not there. And this would have got cancelled with the previous term. So, this remains unattended minus cot 2 to the power n x. Yes or no? Right now, you are now a little mentally conditioned, tuned to telescope, right? We have in a certain sense used telescope in progressions and now the same thing gets extended to trigonometry. So, telescope does not belong to a topic, it gets applied in all topics. So, it is like a general framework. Telescope is like a general framework, it condescends to all the topics equally. It is very important, very versatile and sometimes there is no substitute for telescope. There is no substitute for telescope. If you know the result, this equal to this and you have to prove that this is equal to this, then uh, you know if you, if nothing occurs to you, you end up using what is called mathematical induction. Assume the result to be true for n and establish that it will be true for n plus 1 and then inductively you go ahead and uh, you know get the final result but if you didn't know the induction mathematical induction will work if you knew the result it will not work if you didn't know the result right sounds all right stand by